比你厉害。Well, I'm waiting for some rather important information to come through. Oh, uh, anything that would be interesting to me? Oh no, I don't think so. Listen, why don't you? Uh, why don't you go back to bed? Well, are you sure I could stay here? You know, keep you company if I don't want. No, no, that's quite all right. Hey, listen, I'll be up shortly. Huh? You keep my side of the bed warm. Hmm? Okay. You know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sleep well. Yeah. You home for lunch? Well, I hadn't planned it. My office computer went out again. Oh, it's not doing very well, is it? Batting zero. But since I'm here, I thought I might have a nice lunch with you. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sorry. Alistair and, already, and I already had plans to go out for lunch. Holly, I never see you anymore. You see me the same amount of time as usual. Yeah, but never alone. When's Alistair leaving? I told you, as soon as his package arrives. Well, we'll forward it on. Oh, I already tried telling him that, but he said he wants to wait. Anxious about it, isn't he? Yes, he is. Makes me wonder what's in this wretched, mysterious package of his. Me, you'll be leaving us soon, Alistair. Ah, uh, yes, unfortunately. Mm. We're waiting for a package, uh, she says. Yes, should be arriving any time. Uh, probably come with today's mail. Oh, uh, just what exactly is? This? I can't. Tell you what it's meant to see my dear cousin again. Oh, we really enjoyed having. I'm so glad you enjoyed it too. Uh, now about this sub. Uh, I hope I haven't imposed by having it sent here. Oh no, not at all. It must be awfully important. Ah, uh, well, what is important? Air, food, kinship among family, good mail service. I, uh, I do so dislike asking for favors, especially after you've been so gracious, so hospitable. Oh, it's our pleasure. I hope you're not going to try and repay us. Pardon? In this package, you wouldn't try and embarrass us with some sort of a gift now, would you? Oh, nothing could repay such kindness. No? Well, you could tell me exactly what's... Uh... Oh, what I intend to do when I leave. Ah, yes, well, heaven only knows. My heart speaks and my feet follow. He's always been restless, on him, you? Oh, yes, that? that's me. Ever the wanderer. Yeah, I remember there was a time in Kathmandu. Terrible mail service in Kathmandu. Oh, hideous. Mind you, it could be a bit dicey here, too. I mean, I hope there's nothing too valuable in this package. Oh, Bali was in the eye of the beholder. That's what I always say. You know, what to one man is a trifle, to another is a, a treasure. <laughs> Which is this? Uh, everything in life, to me, is a treasure. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it uh, Wordsworth who once said, um... I don't know, was it Kipling? Ah, uh, lunchtime. Hi, a splendid idea. That's too bad you can't join us, Robert. Yeah. Downright shame. Ah, you work too hard, Robert. And so often with little result. But I never give up, though. No, though sometimes I wish you would. Hurry along now, Alison. Get out of here. Give me the number of the postmaster, please. Mm. 
Right, thank you. I'd like to speak to the postmaster. This is the police commissioner here. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, I'm expecting a package for an Alistair Crawford, care of myself, Robert Scorpio. You wouldn't have received it yet, would you? Yeah, I'll hold. It's arrived? Good. Look, I'd like it sent over right away. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. <clears throat> This is where we're having lunch? Yes, I picked it specially for you. For me? Why? Because I know how much you like health food. Ah, true, dear cousin. However, a little gentle ambiance, pleasant service and delicate preparation are also good for the digestion. You'll find it here. Ah, perhaps, but think of the time we'll waste looking for it. You'll like it. But isn't the, uh, the Versailles room open for lunch? Yes, but I think it's time we tried something a little more simple. They certainly got the market on simple here. Why don't you sit down? This, uh, this just doesn't strike me as your sort of place, Holly. Well, you'd be surprised, you know. Every now and then, the mood to slum it hits me. Sometimes it even lasts for days. And uh, I suppose you feel that mood coming on now, do you? Strongly. Just my luck. Uh, pardon? I said, uh, how's the duck? They don't serve meat here. Ah, uh, no, I... I suppose they wouldn't. You know, uh, afternoon mail should be arriving pretty soon. Oh, really? Well, perhaps your parcel will arrive. Perhaps. Is it from a catalog? What? What you ordered. It's a marvelous invention, catalogs, aren't they? Oh, miso soup, how delightful. I just hope it's the right size. What, the soup? What you ordered, uh, was it clothes? No, I told you all mine are tailor-made. What are you getting? Uh, well, I'm not expecting anything. Not for lunch. Oh, I haven't decided yet. Uh, will, will it fit in your suitcase? Not my lunch? Uh, what's in your package? Oh, probably. It's not too heavy? No, I think I'll have something light. Your package? Yes. Expecting it any time now. Oh, waiter. Yes. Yeah. Uh, might we have a little service? Yes. Our special today is um, avocado souffle. That's it. With walnut sauce. Well, I don't know whether to feel sorry for the walnuts, the avocado, or your chef. <laughs> I'll have vegetable salad. Yes, sir. Same for me, too. Okay, you got it. Oh, I detest that phrase. Package for Alistair Crawford, care of you, Commissioner. Oh. Sign here. Right. There. Thank, Thank you. you. up to something. <laughs> I've got you now, Alastair Crawford, Durban, Smith, Brown, whatever your name is. All right. Quest. Nation or major. It's 
ordered. England, Germany, San Francisco, San Francisco, San Francisco. First box, San Francisco. That bungling idiot is a bloody thief. And they have no interest in prosecuting? They sure? Even if the culprit is caught? Huh. Well, how about you? Yeah, but isn't the company interested in getting him? I see. Uh -huh. No, if that's the way you feel, I mean, there's, there's no way I can force you to prosecute. Yeah. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Hmm. Robert, we're home. Uh, listen, now, thanks for your help. Uh, right, today. Alistair, your uh, package has arrived. Oh, where is it? On the coffee table. Ah, here it is. Aren't you going to open it? No rush. Doesn't seem very excited. Well, actually, I'm a bit saddened in a way. Oh, why's that? Well, now my package has arrived, I've no more excuses to stay. I'll, I'll be leaving very soon now. Guess I'll go run my bath now. Uh, wait. Yes? Wouldn't you like a nice cup of tea first? Oh, no, thanks. I'm fine. Oh, come and sit down for a moment. You can have some tea and we can chat and you can open your package. I can wait. You know, Alistair, if I didn't know you any better, I'd think that you didn't want me to know what's in that package. No, of course not. No, 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 it, it's just that, uh... Holly! Uh, can I see you a minute? Right now? Right now, love. Uh, excuse me. Something wrong, Alistair? I, I wrong? No, no, no. Why, why do you ask? Well, you have, a, shall we say, a sort of a bemused look on your face. Oh, no, 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 no. I was, I was just thinking about what? Uh, how much, uh, much, how much too soon, too short my visit's been. Oh, then, um, then you'll be leaving us. Uh, yes, uh, afraid so. Uh, now my package has arrived. I. Guess I should make some travel arrangements. Oh, that's too bad. I can't thank you enough for your hospitality. I don't suppose you'll be back in Port Charles for quite a while. Oh, no, you must come back and visit us again soon. Ah, uh, no, Robert's right. Uh, you know me, Holly, Will-o'-the-Wisp. Never stay in one place too long. Especially Australia. Australia? Yes, Australia. A hideous country. Oh, uh, no offense, Robert. Well, uh, you know, I... I think I better start packing. What? Uh, wait, now? Alistair? What? What was that all about? What's it? Nothing. What's going on here? You've got that look on your face. Satisfaction. From what? A good day's work. Are you up to something? You're so suspicious. Why do I get the feeling that I'm being excluded here? Suspicious and now paranoid. You know what? You're working too hard. Come to think of it, so am I. I'm going on a good, a good job. I think I deserve it. What? What are you doing? Changing my clothes. Robert, tell me. I love you, darling. Not that. Yes, hello. This is Commissioner Scorpio's residence. Fidelity Insurance. Uh... No, he's busy right now. Can I take a message for you? The... 
The insurance company is sending a special investigator over now to, to pick up the necklace and get the details. through to get it. Listen, just be better luck next time and I'll hurry up. I just know Robert's got it. He had a smug look of a thoroughly self-righteous all over that Aussie kisser of his. He sit on it. Listen, just forget the necklace, would you? You're going somewhere. Oh, Robert. I'm so glad you're still here. Oh? Yeah, well, Alistair would be very uh, upset if he didn't have just say goodbye to you. Say goodbye, Alistair. Uh, yes, goodbye. You can't leave. Oh, must dash plane to catch and all that. You've got plenty of time. Oh, well, you know, the traffic is really awful. You know how you can get stuck in it? Mm -hmm. I still say you've got plenty of time. Look, I really must go. Not without a goodbye toast. Oh, no, I, uh, I don't drink before I fly. It's uh, bad for the biorhythms. One little toast? We're all out of champagne. <laughs> Too bad. Well, I just got some in. What luck, eh? I'll get that. Mr. Jenkins, do come in. I uh, came right over, Mr. Scorpio. Mr. Jenkins here is an insurance investigator. Oh. Uh, but before we get to the business of this nasty necklace, uh, my uh, wife's cousin here is uh, just about to leave us. Goodbye, Alistair. I don't want to say. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Keep good care of this one. Now, the business of the necklace. Here we go. Thank you, Commissioner. That's it? Well, frequently in cases like this, we refrain from prosecuting. That way, we leave ourselves open for doing business with these people again. Our main concern, after all, is saving money. Well, thanks very much for dropping by. And again, thank you. I had a picture of Alistair's face. It was priceless. Well, <laughs> well, if that wasn't in the package, what was? Uh, well, he seems to have left this when he, uh, rushed out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe it. Poor Alistair. He finally succeeds in something and you botch it up for him. Come on, is this the thanks I get for salvaging your family's honor? You want thanks? Huh. You want thanks? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, you know. Here, you want to try something. <laughs> I can do for you. Tell me what you're doing with Mrs. Barrington's bag. Why? Call it curiosity. I killed the cat. I think it killed this one. What is it? What does it look like? A lion. As in Leo? <laughs> you're giving that to Mrs. Barrington? Huh. Any law against it? None that I know of, unfortunately. You know, Holly, you judge me way too harshly. Now, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Not really. Is this how you charmed Sylvia? On the contrary, I had to discourage Sylvia. Oh, really? Yeah, she was getting much too serious. She's a married woman. Well, you obviously did a very good job of discouraging her. She hasn't even been in the spa lately. Yeah, and we all miss her, don't we? Well... What's going on here? Just a little chat between friends. Someone got in your bag. What? Well, look. Oh, 
<laughs> this is from you. Well, it's the only way I could think of to get next to you as a pet. Oh, how very sweet. Well, I'm going to go back to the boutique. Uh, did you see anything you want? Yes. Oh, uh, what? Never mind. Josh, I'm glad you're here. Oh, what's up? Special assignment. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Can you go and eavesdrop on Leo and Mrs. Bangdon? My ears are open. Okay. It's really very generous of you, Leo. You know that? You found something out? Yeah, well, Leo and Mrs. Barrington are planning on a real good time in the massage room. When? After the spa closes. I knew it. Well, if you knew it, then what'd you need me for? I mean, I knew he was up to something. Well, she didn't seem to have any objections. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect her to protest. You really think they're up to something? Well, I think Leo would like to be up to something. Well, how can he? He has his reasons, believe me. But she's so... You mean she's an older woman? Well, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. You know, this might surprise you, Josh, but older women have desires, too, you know. Oh, that seems fair. You know, she gets what she wants, and he gets what he wants. The question is, what exactly does he want? Hmm, okay, uh... Well, what's our next step? The main thing is, we prove what he's up to. Oh, listen in. Uh, that would be ideal, but a little bit awkward. No, oh, wouldn't it? The will be closed, everybody will be gone. Yes, but we'd have to explain what we were doing here so late. Well, we'll make something up. No, it's too risky. If he knows, if Leo knows that we're staying late, he'll think we're up to something and he'll make his rendezvous somewhere else. Yeah. What do we do then? I've got an idea. Yeah, what? I'm going to go home. Can you stay and watch the boutique for an hour? Yeah, sure thing. Wait, wait, what's up? I've got something at home that we'll listen for. Oh, you got a bug. Uh-huh, like a spy's third ear. And I love it. James Bond, step aside. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Hurry up. Was someone coming? Not yet. Well, then don't rush me. What's taking so long? I've got it. It's vital that I put it somewhere where we can hear them. Well, then put it where you know they're going to be. The massage table, of course. I told you I make a good spy. Yeah, well, you're getting there. Are you sure that's going to work? Of course. Wait, well, where are the wires? There aren't any. It operates on one small battery. How does it record? Well, it's voice activated. Oh, that which means, means that... when people start talking, I know. I'm not completely dumb about those things. I'll install this in the boutique. Well, wait, what's that? Oh, I would have thought you'd know. Oh, let me take a guess. It's a receiver, right? Right. <laughs> it records in here, and it's no problem. It'll reach to the boutique because it goes for 300 yards. Oh, that's great. <sighs> okay, well, I think we're all set. Well, let's go then. Come wait, on. wait. We've got to think of an alibi. Wait, what for? So that we can explain why we're here after hours. If anybody asks, we'll say that we were in the stockroom doing inventory. Great. You know, you think of everything. Stick with me. I'll make you a master spy yet. After you. You got a minute? Oh, I was just going up to change for the spot. Oh, that's perfect. Listen, this is well, you know the rules. It depends on the favor. This is just, this is simple. You have that little bug, the one I was going to put in, um, in, in Alistair's room. Well, uh, it's upstairs with some handkerchiefs among. You bring it down. With the handkerchiefs? Yeah, you know, it's in the, you know the drawer, I mean. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and, and while you're at it, could you, uh, get the receiver too? Huh? I really appreciate it. Thanks for that. I've looked everywhere and I still can't find it. Well, uh, uh, check the other drawer. I already did. We well, kind of just disappeared. Well, it's, it's very small. Yeah, well, did you, um, uh, shake out the handkerchiefs and uh, run your hand on the bottom of the drawer? Even check the carpet. That really, it's gone. Well, what about the receiver? It's, it's, it's much larger. That's gone, too. Wait a minute. There's something not right here. I mean, I can understand one piece of equipment disappearing, but not two. 
Are you sure you didn't take it to the office with you? Yeah, I remembered. Maybe you took it into the communications room. No, no, no. He never left the bedroom. I didn't want Alistair to see me walking about with Otherwise, he might have figured out what I was trying to do. Looks like we've got a real mystery on our hands here. Yeah. Alistair must have swiped it. That, that sort of hookup would be real useful to him. Interesting, interesting theory. He might have run across it when he was, you know, trying to borrow a handkerchief or something? Yeah, or steal a pair of my cufflinks. I'll admit, it does sound like his kind of petty theft. It's not so petty. Those bugs are expensive. Oh, I'm sure the department will be able to absorb the loss. Yeah, I guess it'll have to. Oh, I knew something like this would happen. He never had much control, you know, Alastair. He always used to be stealing things when he was a child. Was he ever caught? Oh, constantly. Yeah, I'd like to get my hands on him right now. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to for a while, anyway. Well, I mean, talk about stealing police equipment from the police commission. That guy can't be too bright. Well, why not? He got away with it, didn't he? We'll see what he got away with when he sticks his face back in Port Charles. Well, you have my permission to lock him out and throw him away the key. Yeah. Don't you think you should uh, be going to work? Can you get the door up? Yes. Uh, see you for dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he said to you this morning? Well, you wanted to know where you'd been between three and four yesterday. We were right here. Yeah, of course, but, you know, I told him the hour black we were doing inventory. You think he bought it? No, well, he must have, or I'd be sporting a rearranged face. You know, he's got a very little sense of humor. Well, at least it explains why the receiver wasn't working. Okay. Oh! oh, quick, run, take it! Oh. the hell are you doing here? Would you believe I came to make an appointment for a massage? Get up. Ow! Oh, my God! You get yourself into these situations. Heels that are too high. You're lucky you went on a flight of stairs. I just lowered my maximum to four inches. Three. If you say so. Ah, uh, Dr. Weber, please. Not there. All right, how about uh, Dr. Di Pietro? Thank you. They're paging you. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Well, I'm supposed to be sure. I knew you'd say something like that. Dr. Di Pietro? Yeah. Uh, Robert Scorpio here. Yeah, Robert, what can I do for you? Yeah, well, I'm afraid my wife's uh, taken a bit of a spill. Twisted her ankle on a high heel. Much pain? Well, enough to keep her limping. Uh, what about the swelling? Uh, well, there's a little bit there. I was going to take her home and put it on ice. Well, sounds like a sprain. Well, she says it's a tendon. Good guess. Look, I'll ask Alan to stop by your place and have a look. I'm going to be tied up with patients all day tomorrow. Uh, I appreciate it, Doctor. Keep her off it as much as possible and make sure she keeps her leg elevated with ice to keep the swelling down. If it gets worse, you should bring her in for x-rays. It may be worse than a sprain. We will. And, uh, again, thank you. What did you say? The amputate at dawn. I'll assume without anesthesia. It's more fun that way. Oh, come on, be serious. Your wife is in pain here. All right, up and at him. I'm taking you home to bed. Oh, this sounds like fun already. Oh. There we go. Ow, ow. I wonder what a tendon looks like. 
You, uh, remember that sushi we had last week? Oh, that's disgusting. Well, it's sort of a muscle. In your case, it's a pulled sort of a muscle. I'm not sure I like all this immobilization you keep talking about. Well, I'm just going by the instructions as per Dr. Pietro. You know, I'd be much more comfortable upstairs. In our bed, with you next to me. Mm. Don't make promises you're unable to keep. Could try. You're fine, right here. Uh, 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 oh, please, Robert, I'd really rather be up there. Darling, look, you could be laid up for days. You're better off down here. Be besides, it's going to save me a whole lot of trouble running up and down the stairs every time you want something. I did it for you. Mm, I see. It's get even time, is it? Carry me. <laughs> she insists. <laughs> well, the pain, you know. I, I wouldn't yeah. have to put any weight on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, easy. Right. Okay. 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 Well, oh. easy there. Right. She goes. Oh. Right. Yeah. I'd like a nice cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I'll have a hot bath. Mm -hmm. And uh, for dinner, I'd like yeah. chicken baked, of course. Of course. You'll have to look in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Now, I think we're going to have to go to the house, but don't want too long. Anything else? Yes. Yeah. Magazines, maybe. Uh, no, a couple of extra pillows would be really nice. I just took a couple away from you a short while ago. Yeah, well, I didn't need them then. Now you do. Well, I suppose I, I could do without them if Heaven I really forbid. had to. Ah, How's that? Mm, divine. I'm so glad. Now, if you could do without me for a few minutes. I just, I don't know why I'm so thirsty. I... Tea? Water would be fine. Here you are. Thank you. You are too good to me. I'm beginning to think that myself. You are such a dear for working at home so you can take care of me. Well, I'm working all right, but it's got nothing to do with police business. I know, I'm a dreadful patient. <laughs> you know, I guess this must run in the family, but it takes me back a short while ago. When I was sick and you were looking after me, I guess this is your way of demanding equal time. I hadn't even thought of that. Not much you hadn't. Well, if you're going to be like that about it, then I'll just struggle to oh, my feet I, I, and manage as best that, that, I can by okay. myself. It's fine. Just stay there. We don't want to put any weight in that tendon just at the moment. Well, I was thinking maybe if we got in a nurse, it'd be the best thing for both of us. All I need is you. And besides, having a nurse here would make it feel too much like a hospital. Robert! Robert! Coming, beloved. hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, what would you like? Well, uh, I don't want just any food. Okay, well, uh, pick something. My repertoire is virtually limitless. Do you know what I'd really love? That's kedgeri. What? My nanny used to make it for me. Whenever I was sick, it's really delicious. Do you think you could make some for me? How can I make it? I've never even heard of it. Oh, there's a recipe for it in my British cookbook, in the kitchen. Wouldn't you, uh, would you rather have tea and biscuits? I had my heart set on Kedri. Holly, look, don't you think you're taking this whole thing a little bit too far? Okay, forget I asked for it. 
Forget that wonderful chicken soup I made for you when you were laid up. Okay, okay. Which all you right. didn't even eat, all as right. a matter all of fact. All right, you'll get your, uh, uh... Kedri. Right. Do you want me to spell it for you? If I can cook it, I can spell it. I can hardly wait. <clears throat> what are you doing? Saving you and I a whole lot of trouble. What is, what is that gadget? Well, it's a little intercom I've had uh, kicking about the house here for quite a while. I knew one of these days it'd come in handy. Now, all you need to do to get me is to press the button and talk into the receiver. Is that really necessary? It is for me. It's going to save me running up and down those stairs. Good idea, huh? Just wonderful. Whatever will you think of next? Yeah, see? Anything you want, all you need to do now is just... Buzz. <laughs> Will you hold all the rest of my phone, please? Mrs. Blocky. That's right. I'm Robert Scorpio. I contacted the British Services Employment Agency because uh, I need a cook. You found her. I'm the best there is. And you specialize in English dishes? I can prepare any one you can name. Can you make kedgeree? Of course. Excellent. Is Kedgeri one of your favorites? Actually, I've not the slightest idea what it is. You don't? Dear me, lad. Where on earth were you raised? No, where they had Kedgeris. Oh? Didn't they have fish where you were brought up? And eggs? Kedgeri is fish and eggs? Kedgeri is haddock and rice mixed with scrambled eggs. That's, uh, you know, I thought it was something a lot more exotic than that. Oh, it's considered quite a delicacy in England. <laughs> yeah, well, let's face it, England's hardly known for its cuisine, is it? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, well, I mean, that, that, that's a shame because I just love English food. I should hope so. Yeah, so, that's it, isn't it? Kedgeri is, uh, haddock and eggs. Doesn't look the kind of thing you'd feed a sick person. Well, it can also be served as a late supper, as well as for breakfast. You can make it? Perfectly. You'll never taste better kedgeri than mine, Mr. Scorpio. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't intend to taste it at all. I can also prepare bread pudding and many other English specialities. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, the English food will do it, I think. Um, look, you're hired. Uh, there's the kitchen. Help yourself, love. Uh, what shall I make first? Oh, uh, let's start with the kedgeri and then move on to all those other uh, English dishes of yours. Just English food? I also make a delicious Bavarian tort. Ah, uh, no, no. I think, I think uh, the English food will be just fine. Every, anyone you can think of. Anyone? Right? E everyone? Or, well, you really do love English food, don't you? Well, let's just say, uh, Mrs. Blocky, that uh, I, I love someone who loves English food. Very well. Oh, and, and Mrs. Blocky. Yes, Mr. Scorpio. Would you mind, uh, well, um, staying in the kitchen? I beg your pardon? Well, uh, just stay in the kitchen, even, even if you hear somebody out here. Huh? I'm afraid I don't understand. Well, this is sort of a, a special surprise for my wife, and I don't want her to know you're here. I okay. see. Yeah. So you just stay out there and keep on cranking out those English dishes, all right? Yes, Mr. Scorpio. I'll be in my communications room, Mrs. Blocky. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer to have dinner, sir? Oh, uh, uh, about six. Be all right? Very well, sir. Thanks, Mrs. Barton. Oh, look, could you get that on your way out? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes? Hi. Uh, is Commissioner Scorpio in? Oh, right through there. Great, thank you. Hey, what do you say, Commissioner? Oh, hi, guys. Yeah, sorry to disturb you. Oh, no problem. How's your wife? 
Well, she's fine. I guess she must have heard about the accident. Uh, well, yeah. actually, we had stopped by the office, and your secretary said you were going to stay home with her while she recuperated. Yeah, and I'm here, and I'm working ten times as hard. <laughs> well, listen, we wouldn't have barged in if it wasn't really important. What's on your mind? Uh, uh, well, there, Tanya you, Roscoff. You know about the guy that's been uh, harassing her? Yeah, Bert Ramsey mentioned something about it. Why? Well, he's still at it. Yeah, he somehow or another managed to record a message on one of her tapes the other day. And we heard it this morning. Well, how'd he get hold of the type? Well, we don't know. Yeah, see, uh, Frisco spent the night on her sofa, and the next day Tanya had the tape with her all day, so we don't know. Curious. She's really spooked. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, what's this guy's message? Oh, here, I brought this along so you can listen to it yourself. It's me again. You can't get rid of me that easily. It's not too late, Tanya. I can still save you. I have to, and I will, one way or the other. Is he standard line? Yeah, he keeps saying he wants to save her. Yeah, do you recognize the voice? No. Nope. Well, what, what about dust in the tape for fingerprints? Well, I can give it a try. I don't think it'll do you much good. Why? How many people have handled the tape? Well, just Tanya and I. You didn't touch it, did nope. you? Nope. Well, it's too, too many. Let's try it anyway. this happens, I suggest you leave the tape in the machine and bring it straight to me. Yeah. Well, he better not do it again. Well, look, even if we could have lifted a couple of prints, I doubt that it would have done much good. Frequently, jerks like this have got no previous, so we never find out about it until uh, it's too late. You trying to cheer us up? It's the way it is. Uh, that's why we're here. We need your help. Well, how can I help? Provide protection for Tanya. I wish I could. Well, why can't you? I mean, obviously this guy's off the deep end, right? I'd say so. And Tanya is in danger, isn't she? Apparently. Well, then why can't you put her under a 24-hour guard? I mean, isn't that what you guys usually do in cases like this? If you're a prime minister or a president. Now, the poor child's police force isn't big enough to run around providing protection for every citizen who thinks he or she might be in danger. We have proof that the guy's after or, or wants to save or whatever he says. It's not good enough. So you're telling us that you can't do anything for him? Not until he makes his move. <laughs> Which could be too late. Look, Frisco, I'm sorry. But if you get me something more on this guy, I can follow it up. Now, in the meantime, you're just gonna have to keep an eye on Tanya. But, Commissioner, I'd just feel a lot more comfortable if she was under police. So would I. That's all. Well, I can't give you that, but I can give you some advice. We'll take anything we can get. Don't let her out of your sight. Don't worry. No, I mean. Oh, no, we won't. I mean this. She's not to be left alone for one minute, not even in her apartment. There's got to be somebody with her every hour of the day. Believe me, we'll see to that. Mm. This guy tries to get to her again, he'll just need saving himself. Here you are, Mr. Scorpio. Thank you, Mrs. Bonnie. It looks absolutely delicious. It is. I hope you and your wife enjoy your English repast. Oh, I'm sure we will. In fact, I can safely say that Holly will never be able to believe this. If you like, I can give her my recipes. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 that won't be necessary. Uh, uh, just uh, stay in the kitchen there, out of sight. Yeah. But I've, I've nothing else to cook. Huh? Oh, well, um, we'll pick a country and uh, then start preparing its dishes. Won't be much of a menu. Your ketchup map. <laughs> Long enough. Well, I thought I'd prepare a few little uh, other side dishes for you. Oh, like hamburgers and fries. <laughs> 
seat yourself. What on earth? Oh, just a little something that I whipped up. I can't believe it. You put all my favorite English dishes on here. Yeah, well, I have a whole lot of talent you know nothing about. What? Apparently so. You must be exhausted. If I cooked all this by myself, I wouldn't have the energy even to eat it. Well, what's cooking? I mean, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, you mind if I, uh, <clears throat> you know, help you eat it? You know, I just love English food. Of course not. Gosh, the service is so good here, I might just stay in bed forever. Well, that's fine with me, but I'm going to say, uh, good food notwithstanding. I mean, what sort of a person wants to spend the rest of their life in bed? in bed. Hmm? Well, that's fine with me, but I'm going to say, uh, good food notwithstanding. I mean, what sort of a person wants to spend the rest of their life in bed? Hmm? There is no reason for you to be down here. Yeah, but that is it. You know, I fixed all of that. You got an intercom up there, you punch a button and I'll be there. Yes, but I, I want to have lunch down here with you. Why? Because I was lonely up there. And would you please stop objecting? I just, I want to be with you. <sighs> but I can't believe this lunch. It's so elegant. How'd you like it? Well, who wouldn't like it? I mean, eggs Benedict, this beautiful salad, and, oh no, piping hot croissant. Shouldn't they be hot? Well, yes, but it, I can't believe how elaborate. Did you make this hollandaise sauce from scratch? Huh? Oh, that was nothing. It must have taken you hours. What's this in here? I don't believe it. What's this in the salad? What? Artichokes, heart, my favorite. And they're fresh, too. Well, I wanted it to be nice for you. Nice? It's scrumptious. Well, why don't you uh, hurry up and eat it then, and, and uh, I'll take you upstairs. Well, I wouldn't dream of hurrying up. Are you kidding? I'm going to enjoy every mouthful. If you like, I can, I can uh, carry you back up and then come back, get the tray, and you can finish your lunch up there. But I like being down here. I don't want to go back upstairs at all. But you rest so much better in bed. Yes, but I get lonely up there. But darling, I, uh, I fixed that, you know? I, the intercom up there, whenever you want me, all you got to do is, is just call. What I want is to be with you. But I can come up whenever you need me. Oh, I'd feel so selfish with you running up and down the stairs the whole time. But I enjoy it. Running up and down the stairs? Well, no. I mean, uh, you know, I enjoy uh, taking care of you. I mean, whenever you need me, you just use the intercom. I can't. Why not? I disconnected it. Why? Because I don't like talking to you on the intercom. It makes me feel isolated up there. Darling, look, you know, I really do appreciate you wanting to be with me like this. But uh, you've got to understand that in these circumstances, you must let me be the judge. Robert, what was that? There's somebody in the kitchen. Who was in there? I didn't hear anything. But there's somebody that just crashed onto the floor. Robert, there must be some... Just a minute, I'm beginning to get this. Robert? Mrs. Mrs. Blocky, you might as well come out of the kitchen now. Oh, no harm done, Commissioner. I dropped a pan. I'm sorry. So am I. Uh, well, don't worry, Mrs. Blocky. Accidents will happen. Yes, Mrs. Scorpio. It's, it's so nice to meet you, Mrs. Blocky. Thank you. Likewise, I'm sure. And I have a lot to thank you for, don't I? No, I wouldn't know. Your services have been just wonderful, Mrs. Blocky. And your cooking is simply wonderful. I've enjoyed every meal that you've fixed. Thank you. And I'm sure the Commissioner has told you that your cooking has helped me a lot with my recovery. I'm glad to hear it. And uh, as a matter of fact, I now have recovered, so therefore, unfortunately, I won't be needing your services anymore. Oh. And the Commissioner and I can manage just fine on our own from now on. Thank you very much. Oh, I understand. Uh, if you let us know how much you, we owe you up until now, I'll write you a check. Thank you. And if you've finished with lunch, I'll, I'll just take these dishes no, to the kitchen. That won't be necessary. Thank you very much. Robert will take them care of them. Take care of them later, won't you, dear? That's what you want. Yes, dear, it is. I fixed the tea. Robert, you're an angel. Oh, and did you do the dishes? All of them. Squeaky clean. 
Oh, you are a sweetheart. Oh, and thank you very much for arranging for Alan Quatermain to pop in. Alan? Yes, he called to say he was on his way over. That was very sweet of you to think of him. Ah, oh, well, you know, it sort of seemed appropriate. I alerted him after he'd had the accident. Uh, could you uh, hurry with the tea before he gets it? Right away. You know, better yet. Why don't you help me take off this bandage? Because he's bound to want to... Uh, ow! There we go. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm sure he, he won't want to examine my foot with this on anyway. Uh-huh. And, uh... Ooh. Yeah? Could you... You know those magazines I was reading? Huh? Well, I left them on my nightstand upstairs. Would you be a love and go and get them? Say no more. Uh, second thought. You know what? what would be really nice with the tea? Scones. And that bakery three blocks down, they have fantastic scones. Holly, I doubt that the bakery's going to be open at this hour. Mm, could you pop out and check? Popping out three blocks for you, my little turtle doll. <laughs> That'll be Alan. Oh, well, let him in, and then you can go out for the scones. Hello, Robert. It's very attractive. How's the star patient? Ah, oh, the star's shining, Alan. Blinding, in fact. How nice of you to come, Alan. It's a pleasure. How's the ankle? Well, I'll, uh, I'll let you tell me that. Uh, Robert, the uh, scones? Well, I'd better stay and find out what the condition of this ankle is. Ah, yes, but uh, don't forget the magazines upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, by the way. So, let's see now, would you like to try and rotate that ankle for me? You mean like this? Yeah, that's good, that's fine. Now, tell me. That hurt? Well, it feels fine so far. No pain at all? Well, not very much, no, it's just it's a little tender. Okay. That's good. Now listen, it may seem a bit awkward, but I think you've got to start using it. You mean walking on it? Absolutely. If you don't start, it's going to get stiff, and we don't want that to happen, do we? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> did I hear you say that she can walk? Not only that she can, she should, and the sooner the better. Darling, isn't that great news? Oh, yes, it's just wonderful. I'm so grateful for you uh, calling Alan there. Yeah. My pleasure. I'm always glad to give a patient good news. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly good news. I mean, and I know you must be dying to get out and, and get back to work. I mean, she can do that, can't she? I mean, get out of here and go back to the spa? No reason why not. Holly, I'm so happy for you. So I can see you are, dear. Actually, it would be nice to get back to see my friends again, especially Celia. Mm. got to say, it still hurts. Well, you can't think about the pain. You can't exactly ignore it, either. Yeah. He doesn't. Uh, may I be of assistance? Uh, no, thank you. I think it's fine. Still hurts a lot, huh? Well, only when I'm trying to walk. The doctors wanted to move around more. Well, they know best. According to whom? Yeah, well, you see, my dear wife was hoping for an extra week in bed. Well, that'll probably make it worse. That's what I keep telling you. Oh, it doesn't make any difference being in bed at home or on a chaise here. Well, I bet you don't have the facilities at home that we got here. Uh, if you're referring to those magic hands of yours, supposed. I was hands. actually talking about a jacuzzi. The hydrotherapy, there you go. Nothing better. Beatrice swears by it. Well, anything to kill the boredom. Well, look at all this wonderful company you've got here. Uh, my dear friend Leo. Uh-huh. Don't worry about it, Commissioner. I won't let her out of my sight. Anyone I know? How does the police commissioner's wife grab you? Why are you in such a hurry? Uh, duty calls. It's waited this long? Yeah, well, you see, it's waited too long. I've got to get back to the office. You know, Robert, you're getting very close to becoming a worker. Huh? Robert pays the bills. I knew you'd say something like that. Well, are you sure you're going to be okay here, eh? Well, amongst all this opulence, I think I'll win. That's right. Okay, now, yeah. I'll... Mm, give me a call later on to find out what time you want to be picked up. In the meantime, um, nothing too strenuous, all right? I'll stay well away from the... And off the ankle. Holly, look who's back on her feet. Uh, not quite. Well, you keep an eye on it, Josh. Oh, sure thing, Commissioner. I'll take real good care. Atta boy. Bye, love. Have a nice day. Let me just put these things down. I'll be right with you. Okay, well, don't worry. You've got a captive audience. Oh, 
of weight. Well, we can't. Oh, yes, I keep forgetting I can't put too much weight on it. Well, then wait, wait, wait. You no, shouldn't be standing. No, I just want to take off my robe. Oh, sure. Allow me. It's okay, man. I got it. Such gentlemen. Take it easy. Okay, thanks. All right. Can I get you something to read, Holly? Do you want something to eat? Uh, no, thank you both. I'm fine. Okay, well, just call if you need anything. Yeah, I will. So, uh, how about that jacuzzi? Well, maybe later. You can always do it. I just need a, a little time to relax. Yes, okay. Sure. Okay, well, I'll be around most of the afternoon. You just let me know when you're ready. Here. Well, doctors told me I should be up and about. <gasps> May I join you? Oh, please. Please, could you move me onto the chairs if you can? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, be careful. Here we go. Uh, Easy does it. Oh, yes, just hold it, hold it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, thank you, dear. Thank you. Oh, you poor thing. Hasn't there been any improvement at all? Well, you call getting used to pain improvement, then I suppose it has been some improvement, but... Still the same old pain in the same old place. I thought perhaps the environment here at the spa might help. I'd hope so, too. I think the therapy has exhausted me. I don't think we're any closer to a diagnosis of my inner inj injuries, excuse me, than we were before. Can't be a permanent condition, though. Well, I hope not. How do they know? I mean, that's what worries me. Nobody knows. Oh, I guess I could be like this forever. <laughs> Nurse Madge Pilgrim, telephone call, front desk. Madge Pilgrim, front desk. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? I'll only be a moment. You know, I hate that being dependent on other people all the time. Yes, yes, I can imagine. Excuse me, Beatrice, I have a message for you. You're to call your lawyer at once. Oh, thank you. I'll take it in my suite. Oh, the way that nurse is... I'd like to make a phone call. It might be important. I'd help if I could. Oh, no. Somebody will be along soon. Uh, perhaps I oh. could be of assistance. Really? Yes, I want to make a telephone call for my suite. Oh, sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hold on tight. Right. Okay? Yes. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's put you back here. Oh! Oh, oh no. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. Here, look. Let me help you. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You'll be all right. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Let me get you down here. Oh. 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 Oh, better. I don't know if that was delivered or not, Leo. But take a warning. If it happens again, I call my lawyer. It was nice talking to you, Holly. Shame on you. 